What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and welcome to another Pokemon video. It has been a hot minute since we posted anything, but um, you know, I'm predicting a good amount of content to come. We got a lot of mail days, some big PSA returns coming soon. Uh, today, we're doing a break of Brilliant Stars, as we can see, uh, for our patron Fun on a Bun. Uh, when, when he signed up for this, oh man, I thought back to that epic marbles run uh, against like, actually, I'll, I'll try to put it on the screen. <laughs> it's like, do that at the moment. All right, Leninator. Oh, God, this is so difficult. Fun on a bun. Oh, boy. Fun on a bun. Oh, God, there's so many, so many tails. You are invincible. Oh, no. <gasps> what? <laughs> million hammers, and he managed to dodge them all. Uh, fun on a bun. Best of luck. Uh, let's see. You know what? I kind of... Let's go for that... Uh, that alt art charizard v um obviously one reason is because it's like the most expensive card in the set and another oh my gosh what am i doing Let's just get is that i actually pulled the for myself a rainbow v star uh and but the alt art i feel like this is the age of alt arts as far as like you know what i think has long term what's great to pick up now for long term is just anything alt art right now and that Charizard is amazing. Has a Venusaur in the background. Fight. And all right, here we go. We got some sleeves. Fun on a bun. Best of luck. And uh, yeah, figure out what to talk about during this video. Pack number one. Slow roll this one, but then... Actually, no, let's just go. Let's just go. I don't remember this set. It's been a little bit. Clean cleansing gloves into an Alcreme for pack number one. Should do just fine but let's talk about some upcoming things uh so we might have another break or two i'm not sure we'll play it by that part by ear we have a trap pinch into a muck mm, not bad of a muck art artwork but uh so psa so these are cards that have been there for i think it was like 18 months and it was just like a huge submission. I think all together it was like uh, maybe like four or four or five hundred cards, and they are all entered. They all got sent together, so they should all be. Uh, they're like in past the grading state. They're in that the first QA check. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean it means that they're almost done, but it doesn't have any indication on when it will be done and sent back. But uh, so a huge wave of cards coming back including a bunch for my patrons that submitted through me so that should be a lot of fun and it's been so long that so you know small sport but i'll just use this example because like this happened to me before is like oh i see that i submitted a gold star charizard like wow that's you know so much potential there um you know i'm very confident i don't have like a 10 but you know maybe you know i feel like a nine is within the realm of possibilities the last two times that happened, I sent in like a bent copy, I got a PSA 1, which I'm fine with to get it in case for, you know, that, that low price of back in 18 months ago uh, for like 10 bucks. But like, my point here is that there's so many cards, like Gold Stars, for example, Charizard Gold Star, I think there's like at least one, um, that nothing would surprise me. Actually, I would be surprised at a 10. Like, there's almost zero chances of 10. But uh, one through nine, <laughs> all of them are possible. So I think we might have a first hit here for Fun on a Bun. We have a reverse to Dene into, looks like it might be just a regular V, a Mimikyu V for our first hit. We got the V star. These V stars, um, I, you know, I don't mind, like, who really cares about the basic energy? Uh, but I often, it often fakes me out for, like, a actual V star because I see the lighter border where like you know that that v has a dark border um and i think like oh i think we got a v star high potential and it's like oh it's the v star flipper all right uh we got a double hit we got looks like gonna be a ari aridos and then either a full art my guess is full art supporter uh let's go with a marnie i've been actually feel like i've pulled a few marnies Oh, nope, it's just a, a full art V. Luminion, forgot that has a silver border as well. Uh, so very solid pack right there. It's actually, it's Luminion. I haven't been keeping up with everything. 
But I think it's just a card with the toolkits. Let's just see if it has a good ability. When you play this card on to the bench, search through your deck for it. Ooh, so it's just like a, a new Lele. Okay. Makes sense to, for that to be in the uh, the toolkit. And we got the full art version. Then a nice alt art Eridos for the trainer's gallery. I feel like that's kind of like random. Um, you know, obviously they still have secret rares. So having a bunch of secret rares versus trainer gallery versus character rare. Uh, you know, I'm all for it. It, just, it feels like it's kind of random. Shinks into a sock and a breloom. But yeah, so I think up to like 500 cards PSA uh, in the near future. Again, it's in QA check one or assembly stage, but they, they say like right below it. It's like, you know, this is not any indication on when it will go from one phase to the next. We got a double professor's research. Who's you? Professor Rowan. I don't recall Professor Rowan. All right, let's get some high in, higher impact hits. Not a bad start, but definitely have a lot of room for improvement. SQ. I feel like these, um, the boxes that I've been opening from, from the cases I got. Uh, so I, again, I did get one jar, but that was after opening like a case worth of boxes. Um, I feel like the average secret rare is slightly, the average is slightly less than one where I think Maybe at mo actually, I'm not even sure if I ever got a two secret rare box, but there have been more than one that didn't have any at all. So I feel like average, if the average does end up being uh, one, I'm kind of due for a double hitter. Crawdont into a Grim Snarl. Grim Snarl, I feel like arts are always very similar. Uh, let's see, what else is going on? So, I feel like I've taken a more relaxed approach to collecting right now. Uh, I kind of mentioned in a Patreon post, but I'm going to start to defocus. We got a Drampa, Grandpa Dragon. A little bit on the sealed and focus a little bit more on singles. I feel like right now is actually a great time to just start collecting stuff that you, stuff that you, that you like. Um, cards that you think are cool, you know, that, that you like the art, but, you know, does it need to be PSA 10? Um, I actually been targeting a lot of CGC stuff lately. And I feel like the prices are quite good. You know, maybe it's just because if it's PSA, they were submitted kind of like me 18 months ago and they're finally getting back. And, uh, yeah, since then all the, <laughs> the insane prices are gone, uh, you know, with, with some exceptions of the really rare stuff. But uh, you can get tons of good deals in my opinion. Uh, I feel like, I don't know, I've heard this term junk slab toss around there. And while I think I understand the idea behind it, don't necessarily disagree, it's kind of like, you know, like if you enjoy the card and you want the slab uh, and it's cheap, that's I, that feels like a win-win-win. Um, is it going to go up in value? Like, all right, maybe not. Uh, but I feel like that was the approach I took kind of like 2018 era when I kind of got back into it. There was just like, I don't know, base set was huge for me Every, and everything vintage. Like, wow, I can pick up these PSA 9 base set cards, uh, almost all of them except for like the three starters for 30 bucks. And that was like wild to me. So I just kept, kept buying them. Uh, and it worked out because now they're much more expensive. And, and like, my point is I... Don't really have i'm not expecting the same results uh but i'm kind of going in with that mentality of i feel like these are pretty low in price to what they could be down the line so i'll just pick them up and but more importantly i just like the card so i've been picking up a ton of just cgc 9 9.5 uh psa anything from like six to eight just cards that i like cool promos and i have to say it's been a lot of fun Hound Doom. All right, the trainers galleries are starting to come in. Let's get like a Umbreon or something. A Moltres. Uh, still kind of lurk on the WhatsApp or whatnot. 
and uh, you know what? Actually, every once in a while, there's a seller that is selling uh, vintage Japanese stuff like card ass, uh, card ass cards, whether it's like the blue green back or the one, um, pick up a new set. I actually don't know what's called. They just call it the card ass set. Uh, Cause I ended up grading all 151, but I actually think I would have, in hindsight, I would have preferred just to keep the binder collection. Uh, so kind of rebuilding that and every once in a while there's someone on whatnot just selling like a whole set so i pick up what i can for almost all of them for under 10 bucks just to kind of kickstart that effort all right let's get back to this opening i think we have something here uh could be just a regular v uh it is a Ryko v all right so it's still a lot of room for improvement oh this reminds me of amazing rare and that's like an example of like, I don't know, CGC, let's just say CGC 9.5. Um, uh, so let's say the PSA 10 copy would sell for like $50 or something. And CGC 9.5, which is potentially the same uh, grade, they're, they're both gem mint. Uh, CGC 10, very hard to get. Uh, but it's like, oh, that you can pick up for 20. And for a while, you know, I had this mentality of, well, you know, PSA holds the value better, but like from a collector's perspective, it's like, ooh, what a great opportunity to get it for like 50% off. Um, and if all I care about is the card to have in my collection in the slab, then that's a huge win. Um, and potentially down the road, like I feel like CGC is catching quite a bit of market share. Uh, like the value add isn't nearly as much as PSA, but you know, potentially that could change down the line as it grabs more and more market share, which with their much more reasonable rate, PSA costs a hundred dollars to submit a card. CGC is what like, I actually don't know. I haven't submitted to them yet. Probably will in the near future. And if it doesn't, it's all good just cause I liked the card anyway. That's why I bought it. So long story short, that's been my approach to collecting lately. And it's been great. I feel like it's a much more Reminds me of simpler times, you know, just pick up the cards you like and maybe it works out down the line, maybe not, doesn't matter. There's that Grim Snarl again. All right, so we're starting to get down to the last quarter of the box. Let's see, we have a whole mess, was that, like seven hits? So I'm hoping to get to double digits with obviously a secret rare or a nice beautiful alt arts. It's because I can't ever, sometimes alt arts are not secret rares. Uh, let's talk about reprints real quick. So like, you know, I think these things are going on eBay for like 150. Uh, I feel like if I had to guess based on no real information, it's like there's, I find it so unlikely that this set won't see multiple reprints. Um, you know, even, even Evolving Skies, which has maintained a high price point, uh, even after at least the one reprint, I don't know, maybe it got multiple reprints, but this involving skies are kind of grouped at the same level of strength. And so I don't recommend paying over a hundred dollars. I bet. Oh, actually 150 is definitely way too high. Uh, low, like, I don't know. I, I, I think the price is going to go down. That's my point. I don't know who knows where I set a lot or anything like that, but I think, uh, the current going rate is more than you know, I think that the supply will just come. We got a Cyrus boss's order. All right, come on. Handful of packs left. No secret rare. Yeah, it hasn't. I've not had the best luck getting that multiple secret rare. Super sought after. Fun and bun as of course. Thank you for letting me crack this on your behalf. All right, getting down to the wire. All right, we got something obviously, Dust Noir into a uh, Mimic UV Max. Um, you know, that's just like full art hits. Definitely, I, I, don't, I doubt that's our kind of like big box hit. And always happy to pick up more Trainers Gallery. Although definitely would lean towards the Evolutions. 
like I feel like the Vaporeon. I pulled so many of the Vaporeon one. And actually the, the Zekrom, <laughs> which uh, I think on like these u is like super, super cheap, like cents or something like that, or something crazy. It's pretty low. I feel like I've actually pulled like only one of those. It's the Vaporeon I keep pulling. Sneasel into a Staraptor. All right, here we go. Four packs remaining. Hit wise, good number of hits. Nothing too high quality. Maybe that Luminion is a good hit. But more from a versatility. Mag Mortar. I do like how the Electivire is in the background though. All right, come on, let's clutch up here. I'm talking Charizard, I'm talking Arceus. I think we got something. It might be a regular V. Dust Noir, the reverse, and ah, Zarud. Zarud looks very similar to the uh, Vivid Voltage one. All right, we got two more packs. Executes into a light part. And last but not least, come on. Actually, I think when I did pull the Charizard, it was like the last pack. All right. Come on. Don't break a heart. Yeah. A Lucha. Oh, okay. Uh, so we got a, it is a Trainer's Gallery, Alternate Art or Shifu VMAX, the Rapid Strike. Um, so that that's pretty, actually, this is the reverse slot. So we still have potential for one more. Okay. I don't know where this ranks as far as like the hits, but you know, I feel like that's pretty cool. Uh, Urshifu, I feel like is, you know, kind of getting too many cards. Um, feels similar to, let's take a look at the back. Uh, not perfect centering. Similar to, um, like what they did with Zacian, Samazenta, Eternatus, just like card after card. And it really dilutes like a Pokemon that hasn't proven itself as far as being like a fan favorite uh, sought after Pokemon as far as the cards go. So while well, I think its art is pretty cool, um, yeah, I feel like that's, that's a good way to put it. Like the, the Pokemon hasn't proven itself. Uh, so we didn't see a secret. So let's grab a couple extra packs for fun on a bun. Although, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that last hit. But, uh, let's just get a couple extras. See if we can't add a little bit more for fun on a bun. It's the rhyme and a hunch crow. The darkness ablaze. Looking for that. Oh, ooh. all right. So darkness ablaze has a Charizard Vmax, but it's only the full art version. Uh, this looks like a rainbow. What's in this set? What is it like? Dragapult, Cindrace? I think Cindrace in here. Oh, Cent oh Cindrace. I, that's what I meant. I actually meant Centiscorch, and we did get a rainbow Centiscorch. So I feel like this worked out pretty well. Um, little, it could have been okay, but I feel like a little bit disappointing on the Brilliant Stars eh, centering, not perfect. But a very clutch redemption pack right there for fun on a bun. Actually, most things in the Sword and Shield there kind of got that overprinting like Sense Scorch and then quickly after and Shining Fates. So I feel like it diluted a lot of the cards. Fampy into a Whimsicott. So that's going to do it. Um, fun on a bun, thank you so much. I'll get these out to you in a little bit. Um, yeah, a lot more content to come. I think a big mail day at some point stuff is still flowing in and then lots and lots of PSA submissions videos to be coming soon. Thanks for watching. I'm Wanna Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.